The design menus available in Squarespace give us a lot of creative options for how to customize the way our website looks. But if you need to do something extra special, like add a custom font or maybe change the color of a button on a hover, in those situations, you'll need to add your own custom CSS. There are three unique ways that you can add code to a Squarespace website to change the style. And in this tutorial video, I'll be walking you through all three and why it's important to know the difference. I'm Becca from Inside the Square, and without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen to teach you exactly how to add custom CSS to your Squarespace website. Let's get started. Here we are inside Squarespace. On the left-hand side of the screen is how we navigate the program, and the right-hand side is the Squarespace preview. Now, to be honest, Squarespace changes this menu often. That's part of the reason I'm recording this new tutorial, because they've moved CSS for the third time in the last year. Currently, if you click on Pages, scroll down to Custom Code, and then select Custom CSS, that's how you can reach your Custom CSS panel. But on the off chance that your main menu doesn't look like mine here on the screen, I'm going to share with you my favorite trick. Hit the forward slash key on your keyboard. This opens up the program search so we can quickly find our custom CSS panel and navigate there immediately, no matter where Squarespace happened to move it. Your custom CSS panel is the perfect spot to add style changes, especially style changes that you want to see on every single page of your website, like installing a custom font, creating button hover effects, or maybe you want the header of your website to have a gradient background. That header will be on every page of your website. So when you add custom CSS here inside your custom CSS panel, this will load on every single page. Again, it's perfect for site-wide changes. But let's say we want that unique header to only happen on one single page at a time. For that, we can use page header code injection. We're going to go back to our pages menu here inside Squarespace. If we want to add CSS to an individual page here inside our website, we need to open up the advanced page settings by clicking on this gear icon right here. When I select the advanced option, this is where we can find page header code injection. Inside the page header of your website, you can have different types of code. So when we add a style code, we need to label it as style like this here on the screen. Now I'm going to paste that gradient background for our website header and we'll select save. So you can see that when Squarespace reloads this page, we now have the gradient header. But if I visit my blog, it's gone back to the original style for that website header because the code that we added only exists here inside the advanced page settings for this individual page. Now, at the time of recording this, page header code injection is not available on the most basic Squarespace plan. So if that's you, I've got a workaround for you. I'm going to remove this code and select save, and we'll actually go ahead and hop into this blog post so I can show you that this technique will work on blog posts, it will work on events and standard pages. Hop into edit mode, and what I want you to do is add a code block. Here inside a blog, we can do that by clicking this blue plus sign. I'm going to type in the word code, and we'll click on this option here. Now it has this filler text that we can remove, and we're going to paste our custom CSS here, again labeling it as a style code. Now you can see as soon as we've added this code to this particular blog post, Squarespace is going to pick up on the code and it will change the website header just for this individual blog post in our website. Again, make sure you label it a style because we can add multiple types of code to a code block. All right, my friend, here's a quick recap. For site-wide CSS, hit the forward slash key on your keyboard and look up the CSS panel. When you add your code here, you don't need style brackets. The only type of code that goes here is custom CSS, so paste your code here and it will work on every page of your website. If you want to add code to an individual page, click on this gear icon and select the advanced options. Place your CSS here and definitely use these style brackets because we can have more than one type of code inside the page header and we need to tell the computer this is a style code by literally using the word style. Now, if you're on a basic plan and you don't have access to page header code injection, or you want to change a blog or an event or an individual lesson inside a course, hop into edit mode for that particular page or collection item and add a block of code. And just like we did for page header code injection, make sure you label your custom CSS as a style code when you add it to a code block in Squarespace.
Now that you know the three different ways that you can add code to Squarespace, let's get creative with the codes you're going to add. I have hundreds of tutorials available here on my YouTube channel and on my blog at insidethesquare.co. If there's something super specific you want to customize about the style of your Squarespace website, let me know in the comments. I'd love to help. I'll send you resources or maybe even create a tutorial video just for you. I'm Becca from Inside the Square, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like and let me know in the comments. And most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. Good news, Squarespacer. We finally have an AI that truly understands Squarespace. Meet Custom Cody. Built specifically for Squarespace users and trained on every nuance of the program, Custom Cody is your AI-powered assistant for effortless expert-level Squarespace customization. Available now at customcody.com.